We are in Cleveland, Texas this morning at a new BNSF Railroad Logistics Center. We're with Ames Construction. The last time we were here, it was hot, and we were checking out Ames Construction moving a few million yards of earth with tractors and pans, scrapers, big excavators. It was awesome. The earthworks has concluded, and now they have to build the roads to create the access necessary for the logistics center. So right behind me is one of their concrete paving spreads, paving an enormous concrete road a few miles long through the entire logistics center for that access. So we're gonna check out this paving spread and explain to you what it takes to pave a road with concrete today. beginning of the concrete paving train officially. This is the spreader placer. So we have these triaxles coming from the concrete batch plant full of concrete. They're dumping into that conveyor. That conveyor is placing that material in the middle of the concrete pavement. And then that auger within the spreader spreads that material out across the width of the pavement and gets that concrete roughly to where it needs to be. This is Ames's entirely mobile concrete wet batch plant. So that is eight yards of concrete. It's batched in that drum up there that mixes everything together, the cement, the fly ash, the aggregate, the water. And then once it's done mixing in about 60 seconds, it dumps into those dump trucks there, those triaxles, and those triaxles go out to the paving spread. So they've done, as I explained, the bulk earthwork. We saw that before earlier this year. Then they've come through and they've done the finish earthwork with blades and dozers using GPS so that this subgrade here is exactly where it needs to be. And then we have these spacers here to keep the rebar above the subgrade about halfway. And the finished concrete pavement is eight inch pavement. So this is the reinforcement concrete is strong in compression, weak under tension, and this is what keeps it nice and strong either way, especially as that ground underneath, that Texas ground might move a little bit. This will keep the concrete as it should be. And now for the second and arguably most important machine within the concrete paving lineup, we have the actual concrete paver. So this machine is taking the concrete that's been spread out in front of it, it's knocking it down, it's vibrating it to consolidate it, and then it's paving it to the very specific elevation using UTS, which is a very high accuracy form of, of technology. They're running a trimble system specifically on this. So that finished concrete coming out of the back of the paver is to the exact elevation it needs to be, and that is the finished surface.
everything is Ames Construction and they are hiring all across the United States. So if you wanna to try to get a job with Ames, check out the links in the description below. So the run we're working on right now is about 11,000 feet. They did 2,000 feet yesterday. They're gonna do a few thousand more feet today. This is where they left off. So that all was placed yesterday. It's hardened, it's, it's cured somewhat. And now we're tying into that with the new concrete. So this is arguably the trickiest part of the day right here, all this handwork to make sure these two pieces of concrete pavement match up perfectly with one another so that when you're driving over it, you can't even tell there's really a joint there. And this is the final machine in the process, the texture it's applying with that burlap, the micro texture in front, and then with those tines behind it, the, the macro texture to keep grip while vehicles are driving over this if it were wet. So just like that, this is where we began this morning and here is our finished product, beautiful concrete paving. Last step is to put the curing agent atop it and it'll be ready for traffic nearly tomorrow. Now on this project, we have over 30,000 feet of this, which is about 27,000 cubic yards of concrete and over 2 million pounds of steel. So a lot of this is yet to be laid down on this project. But as you can see, the crew of Ames is absolutely getting after it. That is how you pour and finish concrete paving. Soon, this will be an enormous logistics center to keep America, to keep you moving, your cars, your gasoline, your, your groceries, all originates from places like this. Thank you to Ames Construction for having us out. I loved, loved this morning. Hopefully you did too and we'll see you next time.